my son. I'm trying to get an all over tan. Well, you're asking a lot of the son. Sorry I'm late. But I was in such a rush, I sideswiped a car parked out in front of Steve and Marcy's house. But if they can afford to buy a Mercedes, they can afford to pay for it. Didn't you leave a note? Sure I did. I said, next time, buy American. <laughs> That's right, envy me. That's my wife, those are my kids, and I sell women's shoes. <laughs> what am I worried about? I was dead before I got here. Anyway, I was driving home, God knows why. And I hear this old song on the radio that I used to love, but I can't remember the name. Now, why is it whenever a song comes on the radio and you're waiting to hear them name it, it's always number six of 40 in a row? Money is love. This is a car. This is a house. And all this is a blonde. Oh, come on, Al. The chances of them playing that song are a million to one. It just... Go with him! Go with him! That must be the name of my song. Groovy song, wasn't it? You know, a lot of people think the name of that song is Go With Him, but it's not. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Well, here's our third song of 5,000 in a row. Why don't you take a picture of me so you can remember me when I was beautiful? Well, you're gonna get worse? <laughs> Shut up and take the picture. <laughs> Got it. Not even this, huh? What is it? Is Oprah right? Are you a big fat woman? All I wanted was a 45, a stinking 45, the record of the gun. I'll even sell it for the damn malt liquor. Just this once, can you show that you can love even Al Bundy? I'll be back for only one more request. It involves a thunderbolt and a... He peeped me last night! Oh, oh. He peeped you? <laughs> yes, it was horrible. So how was it for you? Bottoms up, Al. <laughs> uh, Al, you're not supposed to drink it. It goes on your head. check something here can you still see me all right okay but uh, you gotta promise me that you'll let me finish sure Al. I shot your dog I'm finished Bella? Um, is he alive yes no <laughs> Well, he's out in my yard. You, you can't miss him. I didn't. Honey, I'm just gonna go upstairs and try this on, and then I'll come make you a nice, juicy steak, just like the dog had. Hank, I'll be down in the basement. He saw it all, Steve. Uh, Marcy, did they find this guy passed out in the bushes, still twitching from fear? Because, I mean, just the thought of it gives me the heebie-jeebies. Never wanted to get married, I'm married. Never wanted to have kids, I get two of them. How the hell did this happen? I don't want to have sex. You're my wife, for God's sake. <laughs> Hasn't having the kids touch anything? Nothing good comes of it. <laughs> Except for the day before the day I met you. This is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> so wait a second, Hank. 
Remember, the kids are here. Now, if you want to have sex, they'll have to leave. And if you want it to be good, you'll have to leave. this with you how many beers did you have tonight Al? <laughs> ten <laughs> so i guess we're about a six pack short of sex huh at least <laughs> they won't let me see my wife well take a look at mine that ought to cure you which reminds me al i want sex so do I, but I see no reason to drag you into it. Put all the family finances right here in this computer. You put something I don't have into something I don't understand. You know, that reminds me of our sex life. That's putting something I have in something I don't like. Oh, I'm talking about the breakup. Now, let's face it, you already had the honeymoon. Adjusting That's the best part of the rotation. marriage. If it goes any longer, All they turn into this. <laughs> and if you're really unlucky, you get a couple of these. <laughs> then you turn into this. Expired driver's license. Why can't a marriage license do that? <laughs> sign this petition and save the trees. Who cares? Hey, mister, sign this petition to save the world from nuclear holocaust. Who cares? Hey, mister, they're going to raise our beer tax two cents. Oh, my God! This has to be stopped! Why do I come here? Why doesn't Willie Nelson do a benefit for me? You could call it Alley. I'm so hungry I can eat a vegetable. Marcy! That's your wife. How the hell did that happen? Jefferson, it's almost time for my nooner. Take two of these, call me in the morning. <laughs> Manual targeting disengaged. Better make it four. <laughs> Marcy, you above all people should be concerned about this tax. I mean, after looking at yourself in the mirror all day, you must drink. <laughs> How come you never wrestle with me? Because either I end up on top of you or you end up on top of me, and either way, I lose. <laughs> Peg, if you weren't my wife, I'd kiss you. <laughs> Do you think we should try again next year? No. Tell you the truth, I'm never voting again. <laughs> like marriage, no matter who you choose, it turns out bad. Well, your mother's kind of sad about something. I don't know what it's about. I didn't ask her because then she'd tell me. <laughs> ah, you two are the best kids any father accidentally ever had. <laughs> What's the difference between men and women? <laughs> One works, and the other's woman. <laughs> Is she gone? Yeah. And the boy's gone, right? Yeah. Thank God I only had sex with Peg twice. <laughs> of course, she shouted at me one time when a 300-pound linebacker was barreling down on me. When I came to, I had two kids and selling shoes. <laughs> I was a size six before aerobics class. Whatever. How that jumping must have expanded my foot. <laughs> and I see you must have fallen on your butt a time or two. How dare you say that to my face? Well, I'd say it behind your back, but my car's only got half a tank of gas. Come, Penelope. Let's go someplace where they treat us with respect. Now try the moon. You'll weigh less. <laughs> Do you have any pumps in my size? Yes, I do, but the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Shoes would not allow me to sell pumps. Well, I hope you get coal in your stocking on Christmas morning. And I hope you get slim fast in yours. Now, we're about to have our Christmas party here, so would you mind eggnogging on out? Do you have anything sexy? <laughs> No, do you? Yeah. Do you? Guess who this is? My brain on drugs. All right, I'll stay. 
But I swear I'm not touching that bozo with the big red hair. <laughs> or that guy. Come on, Al. I really want to hear wind beneath her wings. And then jump off the roof, Peg. Ten thousand dollars or a sixty pay. Yeah. Well, this is tough. You don't know what I had to go through to get those tickets. <laughs> are lit and we are a kiss away from magnificent earth-shattering sex. apartment cold cuts like there's no tomorrow i know what's going on i'm so upset i can hardly eat this sandwich oh well at least i'm alone well i hope that's a jehovah witness <laughs> wanting to discuss hours of philosophical observation you well bundy yes hold the applause I just think you ought to know that your wife has been seeing my husband. Let me get this straight. Pardon the expression. <laughs> you say that your husband is running around with my wife? Yes. Your husband? Yes. Well, then we got three guys that won't touch my wife. What's the problem? Uh, before I serve you, I, I have some great news. Oprah Winfrey finally exploded. We'll be glad to come. What can we bring? Oh, just the, the plates and some food and some beers and leave the rest to us. <laughs> oh, this is going to be just great. You know, there's nothing like spending Labor Day with the family and good food and good friends. Oh, God, what a charade. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, 
there was no wife. B U N D Y. There's no wife here, there's no kids there. A hooker coming over on Friday nights. <laughs> big luscious hooters and pizza and a beer there. <laughs> oh, Big Bundy had a fun. B U N D Y. Two blinds, three blinds, ah! Pixies <laughs> come and I never go home. Hey, this is Telly Man. We don't need the whole song. <laughs> May I help you? Give me my pictures. I got planes to catch, cars to buy, and families to leave. <laughs> Name? Bundy, but it'll soon change. <laughs> you want to dance? You wouldn't mind, Peg? Of course not. I'd love it. <laughs> Would you like to dance? Just me cruising around listening to the oldies channel at 1500 watts. Made a lot of new friends. Take uh, Officer Lewis, for example. Unfortunately, I couldn't hear a siren at first, but luckily, police cars are now equipped with rammers that gently ease me into the rail. Luckily, the cop liked oldies, so he beat me with his nightstick to the tune of Hey Jude. Then he wrote me up 18 tickets, <laughs> including the one for bleeding on his pad. <laughs> How was your day? I think we should kill Marcy and Jefferson. <laughs> Peg, listen to what you're saying. They can work for days and gather more gold. <laughs> If they should accidentally walk in front of my rifle. <laughs> oh, you're so smart, honey. How much is it, Al? Two twenty-five fifty-seven. Oh. <laughs> 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 that bastard. Guys like that deserve what they get. He's getting your wife. Oh, let the punishment fit the crime. <laughs> Hello, Jim's Fish, Chips, and Insurance. <laughs> Al Bundy here. Hi, Jim. Uh, listen, how much to put my son on my insurance? How old? Um, 16. Uh, he's 16. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> if you think I'm going to pay that much, you're as stupid as those cats you trap and call tuna. <laughs> You know, when you insult my wife, Jim, you don't hurt me. Well, what do you say, Al? Nothing I haven't said myself. Are you sure you didn't use too much dynamite? Son, if dynamite was dangerous, do you think they'd sell it to an idiot like me? Now, nothing can go wrong. I've taken every precaution. Including making sure it was nowhere near a gas line. Cha-cha-cha, early grave, cha-cha-cha. 
All right, now, everybody, shoot me! What's wrong with Daddy? Oh, he's just paying bills. <laughs> Nothing to concern us. Just be happy he's not banging his head against the table. <laughs> Well, I'm signing now, Lord. <laughs> Please just smite me before I get to the Y and Bundy. <laughs> oh, give me that pen. Bundy. Oh, yet another thing you start that I finish. <laughs> well, now that that's done, how about taking us to the movies? Well, perhaps you were fooled by the opulent luxury of our home. <laughs> See, believe it or not, we're broke. Now, I know I've said we're broke before, and you've all been very brave and spent anyway. <laughs> but it's really time to tighten our belts. Now, Peg, what can you do with that? Apparently an orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> Way to get one. Guess what? We're going to have a new addition to our family. Well, shouldn't you be sitting on it, waiting for it to hatch? Her traditional Midwestern values. Like what? Wearing print dresses, serving lots of tuna casserole, and getting fat? <laughs> exactly. And while she's here, you, Al Bundy, are not to offend her in any way. And that includes going outside with your shirt off, <laughs> or bending over and showing us that vertical smile we've come to know and love. Don't you realize how many hundreds of thousands of dollars that $10 was going to earn? Oh, oh, and you were going to share how much of that money with me? Again, we deviate from the point. <laughs> Look, Dad, I got her to come over. I'll talk her into it, okay? You better, or I'm cutting you out of the will. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's no punishment. <laughs> I'm putting you in the will. <laughs> ha! You owe <little> millions. <laughs> And, and don't worry about what your parents think. I mean, parents love their children no matter what they do. Damn you, Kelly! <laughs> you ate my last Hershey's kiss! You're in the will! No, Dad! <laughs> well, he's close enough for me. <laughs> I'm still going to write a will. Now, get me a pencil and paper. I want to list all my worldly possessions. I said all my worldly possessions. Hey, uh, don't you understand this is important to me? How would you remember me if I died tomorrow? As a lover, a father, a provider. <laughs> Come on, Daddy, why aren't you joining in? Well, because you're making fun of me. Oh. <laughs> Come on, kids. Let's leave your daddy alone to write his will. Gee, I hope I get his toilet seat. <laughs> Don't be greedy, bud. You're already getting his hairline. <laughs> See? Now we're laughing at Bud. Why am I making out a will? Bud, I'm leaving everything to you. Aruba, here I come. <laughs> Al, you should be proud that your son is moving out and becoming a man. My son is burrowing down and becoming a mole. <laughs> Besides, as bad as this is, you just know that something worse is going to happen. Don't you know that all horrible things happen in threes? 
celebrity deaths, Polly Shore movies, <laughs> Wilson Phillips. <laughs> and in my own case, I ain't pig. But not moving out. And three, two, one. Al, something horrible has happened. The hell you say? <laughs> that was Dad. He and Mom had this big fight, and now Mom left, and he can't find her. Did he look behind the Rockies? <laughs> Excuse me, oink boy. But aren't you the least bit concerned about your mother-in-law's whereabouts? Oh, I know.